if you know these things. Blessed are you if you do them. John chapter 13 verse 17 Be determined to know more than others. If you yourself do not cut the lines that tie you to the dark, God will have to use a storm to sever them and to send you out to sea. Put everything in your life afloat upon God. Going out to sea on the great swelling tide of His purpose. And your eyes will be opened. If you believe in Jesus, you are not to spend all your time in the calm waters just inside the harbor, full of joy, but always tied to the dark. You have to get out past the harbor into the great depth of God and begin to know things for yourself. Begin to have spiritual discernment. When you know that you should do something and you do it, immediately you know more. Examine where you have become sluggish, where you began losing interest spiritually, and you will find that it goes back to a point where you did not do something you knew you should do. You did not do it because there seemed to be no immediate call to do it. But now you have no insight or discernment and at a time of crisis, you are spiritually distracted instead of spiritual self-control. It is a dangerous thing to refuse to continue learning and knowing more. The counterfeit of obedience is a state of mind in which you create your own opportunities to sacrifice yourself and your zeal and enthusiasm are mistaken for discernment. It is easier to sacrifice yourself than to fulfill your spiritual destiny, which is stated in Romans Chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. It is much better to fulfill the purpose of God in your life by discerning His will than it is to perform great acts of self-sacrifice. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 Beware of paying attention or going back to what you once were. When God wants you to be something that you have never been. If anyone wills to do his will, he shall know. John Chapter 7, verse 17.